Yo, yo, yo. What's up? I've started this new series leading up to my first ever Australian Nationals Gymnastics Championships. And it's now Friday, my first competition. There's two days of competition. The first day is on Thursday next week, and the second day is on Saturday next week. So I'm going to be showing you guys daily vlogs up until and including the competition. I'm going to try and release these episodes to you guys daily, the day after I film them. So it will almost be a live experience. I moved to Beacon Hill in New South Wales in February this year and I've been training at Manly Warringah Gymnastic Club since the end of January this year. It's been so good training there. You guys are going to see me training there today and every other day pretty much of the week. Today I've got gymnastics training from 4 to 7 p.m. After the class I'll probably stay back and do strength for another hour. I've also got coaching today from 1.30 till 3 p.m. So I'll be doing that just before my session. So I'm going to now get into a little bit of editing, which is always, I'm really happy when I'm editing. Lots of life stuff gets in the way, but not today for a little bit, for 30 minutes. No, 30 minutes is all I get. Today is also the day I normally get my weekly meals shipped to me. I get 15 meals a week sent to me by a company called 5.4, and basically it means I don't have to worry about cooking, which is... It just saves me a lot of time and it also means my nutrition doesn't suffer because I'm always eating good food. Anyway, come with me guys. Uh, the delivery guys are pretty interesting. Um, they always seem to leave the uh, meal box in random places. I made a request if they could just leave it at the front door which makes sense, doesn't it? But for some reason they keep doing weird things. And there it is, the meal. They've got it sitting on the garage. <laughs> it's just so dumb, why is it there? It doesn't make sense. One time they left on the back of my car as well, I mean. <laughs> and here are the meals for the week. Boom. Nice and easy. So yeah, it just makes your life so easy doing this. But yeah, there's 15 meals in here. Each one you just pop it in the microwave for about three minutes. And don't have to worry about cooking or going and buying food. We're here at the gym. So I've done the coaching, had a little break, did some editing. I rode here on that beast just down there. I thought today I'd take you through, let me show you the gym first. Here it is. Yeah, sweet gym. I'll take you through a bit of my pre-strength today, so the strength I do as a warm-up before we get into the apparatus work. And I'm pretty sure I'm doing two routines on every, well, on three apparatuses today. So I'll show you a little bit of the training. I'm just gonna start off with some really basic things. I really like doing this stall the roll. I'm, I need a lot more mobility for it and it really fires up more. Yes, I can do it. I think it could be a while to see how to do it. You can't stop the train. Look at that crap. That's, that's the most annoying thing about having long hair. It's making me think about shaving the sides of my head. I'll show you quickly my Stolber roll breast handstand, the best I can do. I like to do just singles after I've done that set of Stolber rolls, just to try to... If my feet don't touch the ground, that's incredible. I haven't been good enough for that yet. But it is quite satisfying, this movement. It involves a lot of compression and a lot of mobility and a bit of strength as well.
introducing Camel Water Malone, everyone. You recognize this fella from the uh, Instagram plants video. Here we go, man. That's pretty sweet. Just got it today, was it? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Impressive, man. Very good. Cam's really helped me a lot with uh, just showing me those little things technique wise on all sorts of skills. So thank you, man. <laughs> I was just absolutely blown away. You want to show us, mate, what you just uh, revealed? Holy smoke. Hold on, I don't think we got enough. Let's see it one more time. Look at that thing. Jono, mate. Shirts just don't fit. Swinging on P bars just doesn't, just doesn't fit. Yeah. Struggle boys. Wow. Yeah, look at all these big boys around here. Yeah. Oh, Jono, mate. Jeez. Give us your best nears, Jono. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Papandrea the Beast. Oh, that was oh, yeah, thanks, man. massive inspiration from these level 9 and 10 guys. Yeah. Huge skills like that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Love training with them. Oh, yeah, no, it's good. Stuff. Good fun. Yeah, cheers. Thanks so much. And he also, he has long hair like me, but he actually knows how to <laughs> keep it under control. No, no, look at him.
showed you was with 25 kilos on my back. I did that at the end of every single session. I've been doing that since February. Uh, I started with 20, now I'm alternating between 20 and 25, holding it for two minutes, and it's really working really well for me. I'm definitely thinking by the end of the year I'm gonna get more splits, and I'm just gonna keep this up. Definitely I should also do different stretches for middle splits, not just this single one, but that's what I've been doing for the last couple months because it's really easy to slot in two minutes at the end of your session with the split, and it's working really well for me, so give that a try if you're working on your middle split. I'm gonna ride home now, and I'm gonna show you guys the ride. It is dark outside, so I don't know how, how well the camera is gonna pick up the light, but we'll see how we go. My record for this one is 13 minutes and three seconds, and it's 4.41 kilometers. I think it's about 90 meters ascent, so most of it's uphill. So you'll notice tomorrow morning when I ride back to the gym, it's all downhill, so it's a lot faster. Let's see if I can beat the record, guys. 13 minutes and three seconds. That's pretty damn quick, actually. Forty-two, not my best. I was riding pretty hard. I don't wear a shirt when I ride because I always start to sweat, as you can see, even even in the autumn and winter. Maybe at the coldest winter I might put a shirt on, but I pretty much always sweat. It's such a good cool down after the session, and it's also a great warm up before I get there. So there's a lot of benefits to riding. Also, traffic, don't worry about traffic, never a problem. It's free, it's fun, and it's a great warm up before your training. So you're, you're arriving, you're already pretty ready to go. Oh man, that was tough. 